Hello, my name is Mendel Beidelei. I'm a mixing and mastering engineer and a composer from a beautiful country called the Netherlands. And today we're going to check out the new Plugin Alliance plugin, the Galleon Kruger 800 RB. So here we go. Let's first take a listen to the song, it's just a small part of the song, and then we can go through all the parameters and uh, I'll show you how I mixed it. So uh, here we go. Sounds phenomenal in my opinion. So let's uh, go to the intro first. And let me turn everything off. So this is just the base DI. So the plugin is off by now. So that's a really good DI to start with. Now when I turn it on, you can definitely hear that this plugin lifts it up to a whole nother level. Here we go. Especially those, that first part, like this part. Off. That's on. Really dig that. So let's go through the parameters and then I'll go into the mixing uh, of this song. So let's go from the left to the right. So we have a minus dB on the input. We have a volume knob over here. I really like the the voicing field. So let's say if I wanted to have less bass, I can do low cut. There's a cool mid contour. And the high boost is really effective. Yeah, like it could be even used when like you use the high boost and turn the treble bit down. Right, so we have the high mids and low mids. And of course the bass. And we have a boost. This is a very cool switch, the bi amp and the full. So um, when we recorded DI, and actually when going from full to bi amp, when we, when we went to bi amp, that's when we had like, okay, that's really cool, like tool-ish, like kind of vibe, but uh, let's compare. So this is bi amp, much just the full. So there's a big difference there, especially like on those lower notes. Pretty cool. And even when it's on biamp, you can like take uh, these parameters, the 100 watts and 300 watts to like shape the tone. For this song, we almost had everything on 12, like on noon, just like so. And we have the master, of course. 
So with almost every uh, like plugin alliance, um, like amp plugin, we have the effects rack. We have some cool options. We have the noise gate. These amp filters are pretty cool, and you can switch between pre and post, which I really like. If the input gain was really cool. And a power show. Now for the intro, and I'll go to the, the main amp or the main settings uh, on the main bass uh, in a bit. But for the intro, uh, I used the 115 cab, like a smaller cab and a 210. So it's almost like, not per se like a small speaker, but a bit smaller, so there's more impact when all the guitars get in. And that's basically it. So to shape the tone a bit, I use the SSL. SSL compression. And then when my buddy Willem Jan, he said like, dude, add some, like a tiny bit of delay. So that's when I added the BX delay right over here. It's on quarter notes and half notes on the right. It's a quarter on the left. And it really widens the, the, like the bass intro. So when we compare that, so this is with all the plugins turned off. Turned on. Yeah, really like that sound. So, and then to the main amp, we got the guy in Kruger here, and I changed the cab on on here. So it's an A10, of course. You have two cabs here for the options, but this is the one I changed, the A10. So it's like a more bigger sound, and the mid range was a bit more poking through which is much needed when you have quad track, uh, like heavy guitars. And turned off. So that's that. And again, I used the SSL for some compression. Well, I'll say some compression, but actually a lot of compression. everything in check and then I use the BX Digital V3 to shape the tone even more. So I'll turn it off. Now on. So some lower mid scoop and some peaking out like around 4.7k or something. What was it? Let me just double check. 3.3k. And this is what it sounds in the mix. Yeah, really cool. So make sure to check it out, the Galleon Kruger 800 RB. In my opinion, a really great addition to the Plugin Alliance uh, family, I'd say. So make sure to check it out and uh, see you next time. Cheers.